Hey guys, it's Suzanne. Well, okay, I'm ready to start. I have never worked with this uh, company's paints. I have the platinum silicone paints uh, of another brand, but I ordered these special for this doll because as you remember, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, I don't know when they poured this doll. I really don't know what they used. Um, I didn't order this. My girlfriend did. So it's like a gift. <laughs> and um, so it has the head and arms and legs. Okay. So if you watched my other video, you know what happened with that and why I'm doing this. So I started all over again. And here's... Um, my parts okay so I need the wedges latex free wedges it's here and stir stick it all comes with the kit and I have a couple different palettes so it doesn't matter which palette you want to use just use whatever you want the naphtha the VM Natha I got at the hardware store. That's what I used. Number one, that's what I used to um, wipe the doll with. I used gauze, like as you would use for wound care. So it's it's the gauze, but it's not got any lint in it. It's that kind of a gauze, lint free, like that. It's got you can see. So basically, I, I, there's two of them in here. So, oops. So they're lint free, um, sterile, uh, just gauze sponges. I call them gauze pads, four by four or two by two by two at the um, anywhere, anywhere you want to buy them. So, um, gauze, that's what I used to wipe the whole kit down with. And I used the VM, the naphtha. So I dipped a little in there and then I just wiped the doll. Then I let that dry. Then I went over it again with another gauze, um, with alcohol. You want to use 99% if you can get it. Sometimes Dollar General or Dollar store has 99%. This is 91, so that's second best. So you can use that. And if you can't find the 99%, use the 91% and use the gauze. I use three of these all total, all to, to clean. So step number one was I did the naphtha with the gauze. Let that kind of dry um, 15 minutes. Then I did the alcohol different gauze and then now that's dry I think it's dry so and it's just a medical 4x4 four four or 2x2 two two, whatever you want to get it's fine okay and your wedge latex free all right so that's that and I'm ready to start so I have some paper towels here and other than that Maybe I would just suggest if you wanted to um, put on some um, gloves, latex-free gloves, and when you're wiping down the doll, because stuff gets on your hands and it's kind of smelly nasty. So maybe you want to get um, some latex-free gloves, but make sure they're latex-free. All right, so... So these are paints for a silicone dowel, and uh, I'm going to kind of just do the same steps as I would for the other platinum silicone paints that I have. Why not, right? So, um, and like I said, I've not used these before. You also need the sea, sea sponge, and then tear it up in little, um, you know, tear it up in pieces like this. So you need that and something to mix your colors in like 
anything like this you, they come in different kinds so just make sure that you have that so we'll just put all this lay this all out here and I'm gonna do the head first why not right so um, I don't know how this is gonna go so it could be a disaster and it could work so the um, paints here I'm going to confuse you, I know. Well, that's the matting powder. I don't want that yet. I wish. Okay, so McPherson Arts and or Crafts. That's where I got these. So, now this is going to confuse you, I know. So with silicone, you know there's part A and part B. And then you mix the two together. Usually equal parts. Always just kind of, that's uh, typical. Equal parts. Now, if you're doing a color, you do um, an equal part of A always. Let me just see if you can see that. Yes, here's the A, the equal part of that to the B. The color is always the B. So, and the clear is a color. Even though it's clear, it's color. So, it's B. So, I mean this one, sorry. Picked up the wrong one. Just think of it as a color. Even though it's clear, it's still a color. It's a clear color. So it's a B. All the colors are Bs. This is the A. You mix the A with the B and equal parts. And the naphtha is the thinner. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going to do, and the naphtha is a very, very, very small amount always go drop by drop on that which you'll see me do and if the camera shuts off I'll scream I swear so let me get this over here so first um, all right let me just see we're gonna do um, mix together part B and part A and here's my choices well, the natural blush I'm going to wait on. I won't need that. The vein blue, duh, that's for vein. The bruise purple, that'd be for modeling and uh, creases. The lips, that's for lips. The clear, that's to make a color basically lighter than what you have. Light blue, dark blue. Light green, dark green. The clear is added to any other color. It's a color but it will be like making it a lighter color when it's added. So if I want lips and I don't want them dark and I want pink, I would add clear, equal, and then equal. Always equal, equal, equal amount. So drop, 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 all same size. Okay, so nail bed. All right, so those are my colors. So I'm going to use, uh, and I'll probably... I probably will go with lip color because nail bed I'm going to do last, vein I'm going to do next, bruise I'm going to do for mottling, but I'll do lighter darker. So in a clear will help me do that. So I'll, I'll start with lips and I'm going to put my wedgie over there. Okay, now here's the head. So let me because I think the camera is where I got to be here in this spot for you to see. Okay, so now I hope I did. Oh, I, I didn't look to see if you saw me do the colors. Huh? Okay, colors. Let me do this again. All right, right there they are. Blush, nail bed, that's for nails. Bruise, that's model and, and creases. Clear. Clears to add to anything to make it lighter. So I'll put that over there. And uh, Sasha Vein Blue. So that would be um, any kind of bluish in the face, bluish under the eyes, bluish over the temple, you know, blue tone, but then also for veins with the brush. So, and lips. Okay. And so. And the clear is always to make the color lighter. All right, so 
I'll start out with lips. We can do either lips or bruised purple, but bruised purple is going to be like um, mottling or creases and things like that. Okay, so here it is. And when this camera shuts off, I got to pay attention to this camera because um, I don't want you to lose any part of this, what I'm doing. All right, so just a itty bitty bit. I'm saying that word a lot lately. Hey, what the heck is with me? Okay, so this is pretty well mixed up. But you don't need much, like this much. Yeah, that much. Okay, so that's my color. Lips. And equal amount of A. Maybe I have to go in there and undo it. Yeah, probably. Yes. Good idea, Susan. Had to take the little thingy out. <laughs> All right. Ready. So... That's just only like a drop. I can't even squeeze it, that's hard. Okay, so little drop, because you want to do equal. And 